But why why are they compelled to double down on something like children's drag shows? It just what's I, going on here? I found this ad campaign particularly distasteful um, in this moment. The logic is really just that anything that associates you with the right wing is super super bad. So there's this there's growing anti LGBTQ sentiment right now, and it, how it's being framed is as portraying, you know, trans people as groomers. This is a term you'll hear on the far right. They're groomers. This is where you get the anti-drag queen stuff that we're right. seeing. And so anything that could cause one of your peers that's a left-leaning or leftist person to be able to credibly accuse you within that bubble of espousing conservative views is a death sentence for you. So Balenciaga played right into their hands by having kids in a sexualized manner, carrying something that represents, you know, sex acts. I think it was a really bad misstep at a moment where it's just kind of a dangerous time to even give credence to those kind of insane takes. I mean, look at characters like Jesse Singal, for example. Just, just about to bring him up as the example of, of he what, is like how, the how ineffective it, it does, it does, he doesn't get any traction. He doesn't right. get any traction because of that reason. Exactly. He, he tries to stay deeply ensconced in this left bubble, but he is just autistic enough or whatever it is that he can't leave the trans thing alone um, or he's just, you know, connected to reality still enough or whatever. And this causes him to be branded as a uber conservative transphobe, which he is in like, it's bizarre. I can't figure out why they call me this. But that is actually the internal logic. I mean, you can see this with any of your Blue Anon friends. If you get into a conversation with them, you will find this almost paralyzing fear, almost a panic. Anytime something comes up where for them to admit some feature of reality would cause them to have to espouse something that conservatives say. And it's like they're trying to get it off of them like they splashed bleach in their eyes. What's I, going on here? I found this ad campaign particularly distasteful um, in this moment. So there's this there's growing anti LGBTQ sentiment right now. And it, how it's being framed is as portraying, you know, trans people as groomers. This is a term you'll hear on the far right. They're groomers. This is where you get the anti drag queen stuff that we're right. seeing. You, you have like to think about it structurally with with the, the rhetoric right so okay if if, if child if, if children attending these these very sexualized drag shows is a problem well there aren't one million of them per day okay so the quantity of this particular phenomenon is is not uh, is not the everyday experience for everyone you don't go to a grocery store and see uh, you know uh, th these these shows and children attending these sexualized shows. These so so it's not every everyday experience. So if you then begin to focus on them, you are you are communicating a right wing talking point. Okay, you are you are diverting attention from real problems to focus on this tiny thing, this thing that's only happening in the, the you know very rarely. You know that that the the rhetoric becomes uh, counter uh, counter defeating to a person who is on that side trying to maintain boundaries, and it, because now they they are communicating right wing talking points because they, this is not the biggest problem in the world. Okay, so you're talking from problems. the perspective of the left of some uh, like a news reporter ensconced in the left saying well, maybe we should tackle this issue in order to you know correct so correct because hey you know someone who's on the left who is is a you know an otherwise reasonable person and I don't mean to say that people on the left are always unreasonable but you know the, there's there are reasonable people who are on the left who find themselves sort of surrounded uh where they they attempt to say hey we as a group the left we as a group we used to be extremely reasonable and now i'm starting to see a bunch of crazy uh, you know encroach this space i'm going to take a stand i'm going to i'm going to start to solidify this line the moment that you start to do it and you start to focus on things like children's drag shows the, it becomes a you are taking a right wing talking point. OK, you are you are just floating their talking points. Mm. It, it becomes do you're not playing talk into about their hand. Thing. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're playing into their hand because now you are amplifying the concerns of the right wing. So Balenciaga played right into their hands by having kids in a sexualized manner, carrying something that represents, you know, sex acts. I think it was a really bad misstep at a moment where it's just kind of a dangerous time to even give credence to those kind of insane takes. And, and, and so legitimizing their concerns. Exa exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Legitimizing. That's a that's a great 
you know, linguistic trick, right? And and so therefore, it is almost impossible unless unless things have hit a critical mass. If things hit a critical mass, yes, you can probably you can probably mention it and get away with it. But that's that's a point where even even the the craziest side of the progressives know that they've made a mistake. I think it was a really bad misstep.